Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ray from iPhonePair.com and this is a video because the Android Device Manager has now gone live. Uh, we did confirm this uh, by going to the uh, the Android Device Manager site and we also uh, looked on our S4 device in the Google settings and we see the Android Device Manager is there. So uh, what we want to first do is uh, you can go to google.com slash android slash device manager and then of course you want to log in there alright and as you can see here it is trying to locate my phone alright now for security reasons I'm gonna go ahead and blur this out um, but it did find my device and as you can see it has an option to ring and it says that if uh, your device will ring at full volume for five minutes press the, uh, the power button to stop the ringing I can go ahead and ring it I can hit cancel for now I'll hit cancel now uh, you do notice that erase device is grayed out that's because on my uh, S4 in the uh, Google settings I have not enabled that so uh, to enable that we want to go into Google settings and then as you see at the very bottom show Android device manager and click allow remote factory reset I have to give it permissions hit activate then I can exit out of here and then if I go and refresh on my screen here alright so it's located me again and now you'll see that I have the ring and I have the erase device option and it tells you uh, this performs a factory reset on your device your apps photos music settings will all be deleted after you erase the device the Android device manager will no longer work uh, this reset is permanent. You may not uh, be able to wipe the contents of the SD card. Uh, if your device is offline, we will perform this factory reset as soon as it goes online. So, uh, definitely some good pieces of information in there. Uh, one of the good things that uh, I did notice is it says that the Android device manager will, will no longer work when you do this. So just keep that in mind. And also that the contents of your SD card may not be erased. So, but other than that, it's pretty basic. It's pretty simple. Uh, you can, if you have more than one devices, as you see I have here, you can go to your other device. And in this case, it won't locate my uh, Note 10.1 because I currently have it off. So or that's why it says location unavailable. But that's how you choose between your different devices. You can uh, change the name of your device. Uh, but all in all, like I said, it's a really simple tool to use, uh, very similar to the Find My iPhone app that comes uh, with the iPhone. Now you have this feature directly on your Android device, so no need to download any third-party apps or anything like that because it's now built into the oper operating system. So a tool that you guys will be able to use uh, in the event if your device has ever lost or stolen, which we hope not, but now you have another tool that you can use at your disposal. This is Ray from iPornPair.com. Thank you very much.